topic 5 adjustment at the end of accounting period depreciation expense depreciation expense buildings equipments and motor vehicles assets that provide service for many years are recorded as assets rather than an expense on the date acquired. What is depreciation? Depreciation is the process of allocating the cost of an asset to expense over its useful life. At the end of accounting period, we have to make an adjustment for depreciation expense of non-current asset that we own because depreciation is a process of allocating the cost of an asset as an expense over its useful life. How to journal depreciation? The journal entry will be debit depreciation expense. Why do we debit depreciation? We debit depreciation because depreciation is an expense. Expense increase, we debit. Parts by parts, the cost of the assets, we treated as an expense over the useful life of an assets. We have to credit accumulated depreciation as accumulated depreciation is a contra accounts to an assets. Therefore, journal entry for depreciation expense will be debit depreciation expense credit accumulated depreciation to understand the concept of depreciation or to get the clear picture of the concept let's look at this example on 1st january 2020 syarikat kwa purchase a vehicle 400,000 ringgit, useful life of 10 years and salvage value of zero. How to calculate the depreciation? Depreciation expense equals to cost minus salvage value divided useful life. Cost of 100,000 ringgit minus zero divided by 10 years, we get the amount of 10,000 ringgit per year. How to journal? Journal entry will be debit depreciation expense vehicle 10,000 ringgit. Why do we debit? It is because Parts of the cost of an asset we treated as an expense over the useful life. As expense increase, we debit. We credit accumulated depreciation vehicle. Why do we credit? Because accumulated depreciation is a contract to an asset. Normal balance for an asset is debit. Therefore, contra will be credited. Description will be to record depreciation expense for vehicle. How does appear in financial statement. Syarikat Ketwa Statement of Comprehensive Income Partial for the year ended 31st December 2020 
minus under expenses depreciation expense vehicle for 10,000 ring. While in Syarikat Kewa, Statement of Financial Position Partial as at 31st December 2020, we recorded under non-current asset vehicle for 100,000 ringgit minus accumulated depreciation vehicle for 10,000 ringgit, we get the net value of 90,000 ringgit. As for Syarikat Ketua, Statement of Comprehensive Income Partial for the year ended 31st December 2021, we minus under expenses, depreciation expense vehicle, another 10,000 ringgit. Syarikat Ketua, Statement of Financial Position Partial as at 31st December 2021, we recorded as follow. Non-current assets vehicle 100,000 ringgit minus accumulated depreciation vehicle 20,000 ringgit, we get the net value of 80,000 ringgit. But why accumulated depreciation is 20,000 ringgit? It is because Accumulated depreciation is depreciation expense for the current year 10,000 ringgit plus depreciation expense from previous year another 10,000 ringgit. Come to the total of accumulated depreciation of 20,000 ringgit. Therefore, net value vehicle will be 80,000 ringgit. Let's look at another example of generalizing the depreciation expense. Example, for Pioneer Advertising, assume that depreciation on the equipment is 500 ringgit a year. The amount of the depreciation given. So we don't have to calculate. Straight away, we journal. Debit depreciation expense equipment 500 ringgit. As an expense increase, we have to debit. We credit accumulated depreciation equipment for 500 ringgit. Why do we credit? Because accumulated depreciation is a contra to an asset. Normal balance of an asset is on a debit side. Therefore, contra will be on credit side. Description will be to record depreciation expense for equipment. That's all for today and thank you.